Okay, did you tell somebody? It sounds like what happened is they tricked the tiger into thinking that the boy was down the well, or the boy was down in the cave. They didn't tell the tiger it was a well, right? And then they tricked the tiger by the reflection of the tiger, thinking it was the beast. And then the tiger jumped in. Now, can a tiger get out of a well? No. Okay, chapter 32. We did it! We did it! The boy and girl laughed as they ran to each other and hugged. They both were younger than Min Lee. She realized that they were twins. The round faces, dancing eyes, and pink cheeks were exactly the same. The gray blanket that the boy had used to help him the gray blanket that the boy had used to help hide himself was thrown on the ground and with their dimpled faces swollen with smiles and their matching bright red clothing, they looked like two rolling berries. Minley couldn't help but smile. And as they laughed and congratulated each other, another voice called in the distance. Afu! Dafu! the voice cried. Where are you? The children looked at each other. Agong! the girl said. And to, then together they called, Here! We're over here! Hi, Dolphine. I'm going to keep reading, okay? You can come up here with me. A tall, gray-haired man burst into the clearing. A bag was strapped onto his back, and in one hand, he held a sword, and in the other, a spear. Can you say hi to my students, <coughs> Delphine? Hi. <laughs> as soon as he saw the children, both weapons clattered to the ground, and they ran into his arms. Afu, dafu, he cried. We were so worried. We did it, Agang, the boy said. We did it. We destroyed the tiger, just like we said we would. Yes, the girl said. Our plan worked. We tricked him into the well, just like we said we would. You were not supposed to do that, the man said, holding them tightly. We told you it was too dangerous. That's why we sneaked away, the girl said. We knew it would work. We used his anger against him, just like you said we should. You said he was even angrier at his son and his anger would blind him, and it did. I didn't say you should do anything, the man said, kneeling with his hands on both their shoulders. You were not supposed to go after the green tiger yourselves. You're not angry, right? The boy said. Now no one will have to be scared anymore. We can let the animals out of the house and go outdoors again. Oh, Dafu, the grandfather said, hugging them again even closer. Afu, as long as you are both safe, that is all that matters. Then the gray-haired man saw Minley watching them. Ah, who is this? He said, beckoning Minley closer. Before either child could say a word, Minley rushed up with a hurried bow. Please, she said, my friend, the green tiger, injured him and he's hurt and... The grandfather quickly pushed the children off of him and stood up. <gasps> hurt by the green tiger, he said. Take me to your friend quickly. It is lucky I brought the medicine bag with me. Dafu, get your blanket and give it to this girl. She is cold. The boy ran for his blanket, stopping to pick up the torn fabric from his pants and brought it to her. Minley wrapped the gray blanket around her. She was grateful for its warmth, but even more grateful that the man wanted to help immediately. How long ago was your friend injured? The man asked as he urged her to lead the way. After Minley told him, he shook his head. We must hurry then, he said. The green tiger is no ordinary beast. His teeth and claws are poison. Without the medicine I have, he will die before seeing the sunset. Minley swallowed hard and quickened her pace. You understand what that means when you say it swallowed hard. It's like, like that, right? The wind seemed to scream a warning. And even under the layer of Dafu's blanket, she felt cold. Would they be too late? Would they be able to save Dragon? And Delphine, shall we leave them with that cliffhanger? <laughs> That's what we always do. Yeah. You say goodbye? Bye.